What's the planet? It's, well, what's it's the moon? a satellite. Uh, it satellites know, the Earth. You're getting technical again. Yeah, so, right, um, it says here, and uh, this is a great one, this, thank you, from DOR. Right, another great idea from old Porky. Let's send our hardened criminals into space. Have you not seen Superman 2 with General Zod? Now, that was a great film, wasn't it? I can't remember Superman 2 very well. Oh, well, what happened was, these three criminals were sentenced by the World Court to uh, a- a- eternal exile, so they're then put into, like, uh, a time cube and shot out into space. Uh-huh. And the reason that they get freed is because, do you remember, Superman, Superman rescues a nuclear explosive from the Eiffel Tower... I don't remember the film at all, really. Or maybe I haven't seen it. Maybe I haven't seen it. What happens is, a nutter places a nuclear explosive on the Eiffel Tower to blow up the whole of France, right? Which it would, of course. Certainly the whole of Paris, anyway. Yeah. So Superman is alerted. He gets over the Atlantic in, like, you know, five seconds flat. He grabs the explosive device before it's, you know, as it's about Heads to explode. Heads off into space. Heads off into space. Casts it way out into space. And the nuclear explosion blows up in space. But what it does is, it shatters the... Um, the captive cubes that the three criminals have the been put captives. into. They, well, they've just been put into captive cubes mm. for ex- exile and eternity. But don't they die then? No, they don't. They're freed from these cubes and then they come back to Earth. But they've got superpowers by now, even greater than Superman. Do you see what I mean? See, that's another bad p- point of your, of your story then. So you could what? send criminals up into space and they could come back as superhero criminals. Um, what do you think the number one calendar is in the top ten at the moment? I suppose it'd be One Direction, will it? Uh, one Direction is number two, funnily enough, and ah. it, it was number one last year. But the, the number one is Frozen. Um, ah, Frozen. Now, now that apparently is going to be the most successful Disney film ever, mm, yeah. and it's uh, it's a picture one, like uh, what? What, what do you mean, like a cartoon? No, no, no. What are they like animated? Animated. It's an animation. Yeah. It's an animation, and it's about a frozen princess, isn't it? I'm not sure. It's about, what no, about. it's about a princess in like um, a sort of Superman type uh, uh, world. Ah. You know when Superman goes back and gets his Krypton bar? Yeah. Um, it's like an Arctic world. Yeah, apparently. what's his world well, he's called? he's on another planet, though, isn't he? No, no, he's no. He's planet Krypton. No, no, no. He's not yeah, he is. No, he's not. No, he's, well, not. he's not on Earth, is he? Of course he's on Earth. No, he's from somewhere else. That's why he's Superman. Utter rubbish. In, 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 he's, he's from Krypton, right, but Krypton... That's is what ex- I just said. You said he wasn't. I didn't. I said it's on Earth. Krypton is on Earth. It's accessible on no, Earth. No, it's not. Yes, Yes, it is. It's, you're you're, mis- you're mistaking right. Krypt tonight, which, right. which is the which is the 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 the, 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 no, the stuff. No, what's the right? rubbish? Have you seen the Superman films? I've seen one or two of them. Yeah, right. Have you seen the one ago. in which he dis- d- he just dispenses of his powers because he wants to marry Lois Lane? I right? don't remember them that well. Right. Well, I do. So what happens is Superman. Well, why don't you know that he comes to the planet Krypton then? Because he walks there. He walks, walks there along a, a highway up in Canada. He goes up into the Arctic and he walks to cri- Kryptonite. And um, I, don't, I don't think he so. does. He does. No, because I think you're wrong about because this. he's divested himself of all his powers. Mm. He can't fly around anymore, right? Yeah. And he doesn't put on the Superman um, clothes. Don't he take a cab. Don't be ridiculous, Mike. I'm trying to tell you what it's well, all why about. Do you have to walk. I know it's not real, but I'm trying to tell you what the Do legend you? is all about. Right. What is the legend all about? You know, about? you know, Beowulf wasn't real, but it was a legend. Was it Beowulf? Beowulf. Or, or Beowulf. Beowulf. Well, you know, no, it was a Beowulf. Hiawatha wasn't real, but you know, it was a legend it's about a story. her. Story. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, well, I'm right. trying to tell you the story. What about Pocahontas? Pocahontas. I don't know. It's not about a Japanese that one. story. <laughs> no, no. Uh, anyway, what happens is old Superman. Old Superman, yeah. And he wants to marry Lois Lane, yeah. so he decides he's got to be normal. Right. So he, he literally divests himself of all his Superman powers. Starts walking He around. goes into a diner, you know, mm. these American diners, you yeah. know, that you and I have used a million times yeah. on the road in America. And uh, some guy in there's being a slob and all that. And uh, Superman, who was Christopher Reeve in those days, yeah. God rest his soul, um, said, you know, please uh, don't say that in front of my wife, you know, or, or my girlfriend or something. And the guy just uh, punches him in the face, puts him on the bar and pushes him down the right. bar. And he feels humiliated because Superman... He doesn't have his powers anymore. Exactly, doesn't have his powers anymore. But, but that's not the real reason he goes to get him back. He goes to get him back because three of the worst um, criminal mind villains in the world mm. have come back to Earth after right. being expelled from another planet. Uh-huh. And they've landed on Earth. Not Krypton. Zog. It's Zog. Is it Zog, is it? It was Zog, yeah. So anyway, he, he then, the world then says, where's Superman? We need Superman, because Zog is going to kill us all. Is it Zod with a D? No, I think it's Zog, innit? No, I think it's Zod. Uh, uh, wasn't King Zog the capital of Rumania, uh, the um, king of Rumania? No, that was King Zog. 
Zog. Well, yeah. Zog, yeah, okay. This so, is Zod, I think. This is Zod. Yeah. At, at one stage... Silly old Zod. Yeah, yeah. At one stage, Zod says to the President of the United States of America, kneel in front of Zod. Right. And the wrong bloke kneels down, so he gets one right in the, um, in the ribs. But uh, anyway, so... Is this a long story? No, I'm trying to explain to you because you don't know. I'm trying to tell you about calendars. I know, and I, this is what I'm telling you about the frozen calendar. This is what it's relevant to. Yeah. So I said it's like Superman's home. So what happens is Superman has to get back to Kryptonitesville or to whatever it's Kryptonitesville. called. Kryptonitesville. Yeah. Yeah. And, Otherwise that is Krypton. And, and the last scene you see of him is on a, you know, on a huddled in a coat on a on a highway in Canada, minus forty, thumb in a lift from truckers who aren't stopping because mm. obviously I know it's Superman. Right. And eventually he walks there. But he must presumably be transported there by no, some means. No, 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 no. Don't you understand? It's it's in Middle Earth somewhere in the. Arctic Circle. That's no, where it? it is. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not sure you're right about that. I am right. Anyway, I'm... Rise before Zod. No. Kneel before Zod. You are not the president. No one who leads so many could possibly kneel so quickly. Oh, it's got a load more uh, tweets coming in, by the way. Uh, Dion says, Superman was from planet Kryptonite. His fortress of solitude is in the Arctic. Also, it's General Zod, played by Terence Stamp. Yeah, that's Terence Stamp, that's right, yeah. I think it's Krypton, not Kryptonite. What have Terence Stamp and I got in common? Eh? What have Terence Stamp and I got in common? We're both really old. No, apart from our good and distinguished looks, <laughs> our distinguished good looks. I, I don't know. Terence Stamp used to live in Hampstead. I used to see him in the cake shop yeah. I worked in. Yeah, he, uh, he never got married, didn't he? He went out with Julie Christie, didn't oh, he, yeah, for he did, years? Yeah, he and did. she was like one of the world's great beauties. She was, yeah. But for some strange reason, they never got married. Huh. And uh, Terence Stamp now, you still see him in the West End. Yeah. He goes to all, you know, these little sort of bijou theatres, oh, which yeah. have a, like f- 50 or 60 seats. Mm. and Sort of place we would play. Yeah, that's right. And they, and, and they, they show like French films and uh, Spanish films. I've like just been told he was married. <laughs> oh, was he? Yes, he has been married. No, 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 he hasn't. No, no, he never married Julie Christie. He didn't marry Julie Christie, but he was married from 2002 to 2008. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, well, he got married late in life then, so he got married after the age that I am now. So, so you so, have nothing in common with him then? Well, you know, who, who, who knows? Um, He's 64. Listen, I'm, um... <laughs> He's what? He was 64 when he got married. Well, there you go. I'm nowhere near 64, am I? You're not far so away. What I, so what I'm saying is... I, I'm closer I, to 64 than I am. I can, I can now edit what I said to you. Right. I'm saying, what have Terence Stamp and I got in common? Mm. By nothing. the time he was no, 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 no. By the time he was my age, yeah. he had not got married. Right? Yeah. Well, maybe, in fact, there in that go. case, maybe that's an omen for you. Maybe, maybe you'll is. get married when you're 64 as well. Maybe in about eight years' time, you know, yeah. I'll suddenly find... You'll have find to meet somebody first. The first Mrs. Parry will suddenly yeah. move into my life, and, mm. and there we go.